Hey, this is Chan. Today I'm here to do another Browse Me video with you guys. So let's check out the new updates. Okay, so I was very excited about the MT one, right? And then when I saw the uh, August 9th update, I was kind of disappointed, to be honest with you, because this is a leather cover. It's a calf and linen A6 size cover, so uh, I'm definitely not going to be buying this one. It says here, this year, Arts and Science designed a Tetro cover with a gorgeous atmosphere by pairing together leather and linen. Sonia Park came up with the cover after her visit with Shigesato Itoi on his recent Gratitude Tour. It's the first time an Arts and Science cover has been made with linen. The cover's classic look is supported by the trifold design, the two buttons made to hold the cover shut, and the single leather bookmark. The cover's leather will develop a sheen over continued use, making it a fabulous companion for long-term use. Alright, so... I'm not gonna be buying that one. So the August 10th update was this one here, and remember there was a big gift box there, right? So it was kind of you know, leading up to this big surprise. And the surprise is this Shife collaboration that's continuing on. I am not going to be buying any of these items too, uh, just because of the animal products. But I know that they have a lot of fans, so let's check out what they've got here to show us. Today we're going to tell you about the Hobonichi Taito collaboration with the German toy maker Steif, a relationship now going into its third year. This year's theme is a trinity, and we've got a little story to present this theme to you. So there are two different versions here that you can see. This whole entire story that they put together, which is quite elaborate, actually. So if you want to check out this story, it's on their website. I've got to say, even though I don't buy any of the Steiff things, I think their photography here is quite creative. And this whole little story that they put together is quite creative. And here's a bear. He's writing in his uh, English planner. Here's English Obaniki, the Steiff version. Right? So you can see the Steiff version has a little bear on the front there. Quite, uh, quite creative, eh, the way they did this. I don't think they've ever done this much for a cover before, you know, this entire story <laughs> with all these photos like this. See the little bears and more bear charms. The bear charms did really well last year. They're very expensive, but they did really well. And there again, sweet bird. So here's a look at the new Steiff Weeks here, and they're going to be doing a coordinating tie, just like they did last year. So last year's was, I think, purple and gray, I think, right? Now they've got this dark brown there. This part here says, They first happened upon a gentleman with a mustache. What was that he had with the same design as his necktie? Could it be a Techo cover? And there it is there. Another look at the Steiff Weeks. And the bears are carrying the Weeks. It says, So thin and light, we're so happy. <laughs> and there he is there again. So the Weeks book would actually be animal friendly because the material that they use is polyester on there. And then there's this photo here, which is quite a beautiful photo. So they're doing another wallet teddy, like they did last year. Inside the chocolate shop was a classy gentlewoman. She had a chocolate colored wallet. Could it be a Tetro cover? There it is there, and you can get the matching charm if you like, or one of the other charms put on there. Choco hung from the lady's techo and gaily sang out, Curly, whirly fur, I'm so happy. I think these products did really, really well for them last year, so I guess that's why they're bringing them back or extending their collaboration with Steiff. So here you can see this little metal ring. That's where you can hang your charm, if you like. And then you can see that the inside's leather, so not, uh, not one for vegans. She's there... But the classy gentlewoman replied, The king has a daily techo, has he not? This cover holds a week's. I'm afraid it's not what you're looking for. And then there's the A6 techo cover for this year. They did one of these last year as well, but in a lighter color. So there's another look at the A6 size cover. And you can see that they've got three little bear charms there instead of two. The whole trinity thing that they've got going this year. Right there. There's the three charms. And they're made out of leather as well. Wowie zowie, it's a bookmark with bear faces, and three of them. You can see them there, three little bears and their matching charms. It says, a bear paw pen holder, we're so happy. And the little bears there in the pockets. And another beautiful photo, the cute little bear sitting on her shoulder. 
Very creative, eh? Very creative. There's a scary bear. And then they have these little tins here. Chocolate treats. So there you go, that's the big update for August 10th, and it says, how did you like it? The items that appear in the story of Trinity will all begin sales in November. Look forward to it. So that's their November release. So I wonder what they're going to be releasing for October. Right? Now I haven't scrolled down to look at the update for today. The big new scoop, here you go. Come see a special early bird preview at the Tobichi, Tokyo, and Kyoto shops. Alright, can't go to this. It says here, Hobonichi Chacho 2020 lineup reveal event. Starts Friday, August 16th, and ends Thursday, August 29th. Location Tobichi 2 in Tokyo and Tobichi Kyoto. We'll be holding our annual reveal event where we'll have the lineup available for visitors to see the new books and covers in person. Ahead of the lineup's September 1st release date, the event runs for two weeks from August 16th until August 29th. The event will take place at our Tobichi 2 shop in Tokyo and at Tobichi Kyoto. We welcome everyone to come visit us and take a look at 2020's new lineup. Okay. Introducing the Hobonichi Techo 2020 lineup. We'll have the entire collection of books and covers that go on sale starting September 1st. This will be the only time customers have a chance to see everything in person, including the lottery sales products and other items exclusively for sale in Hobonichi's online store. We'll also have some Hobonichi whiteboard calendars and other accessories available. Oh man! Stop by and see, feel, and discover the covers to see which will be your companion for the year ahead. Techo team members will be on site on Friday, August 16th through Sunday, August 18th to answer any questions you may have, so feel free to let us know. And there's a picture from last year's event. Super exciting, right? A special little treat for visitors. We've got our own original lottery available for participation at 100 yen a ticket. Everyone's a winner, so come get your ticket and small item and get excited for the upcoming year. We'll also hand out free water bottles with custom labels. Look at that. The Hobonichi Techo 2020 water bottle. That's so cute. The little cartoons on there. That's so funny, oh man. We've got catalogs of the Techo lineup. Oh, that's neat. We've got a pretty large selection of covers, so it can be hard to pick one when looking at them all. We'll have a printed out catalog that lists the entire cover lineup, so you can take it home and mull over the choices. Oh, that's cool. Early sales of the Hobonichi Techo Official Guidebook 2020. Okay, there it is. Ooh. Aw, this dog looks like Booyah. Ah, look, you can get a little sneak peek at some of the other covers here. Woo! Maybe some A5s over here. I know, there's got to be some A5s here, right? Look at that. Well, there's one of the piece covers right there. Ooh. The Hobonichi Techo Official Guidebook 2020 will go on sale August 20th, but visitors can buy it early at the event starting August 16th. The book contains a big collection of usage examples from a wide variety of Hobonichi Techo users. Show us your Hobonichi Techo! We'll have a special area set up on the first floor of Tobichi 2 where visitors can show off photographs and descriptions of their Techos. It's fun to check out how other people are using their Techos and get new ideas for how you can use it, and we hope this area will be useful for you. So for those who have already been using the Hobonichi Techo, please bring yours, and for those who haven't used one yet, come get inspired for how you'd like to use your Techo. That's cool, like they got a bunch of pictures of people's techos there. And there's a open key stamp. And then you can stamp your, your techo there as well. Commemorative event exclusive stamp. That's cool, eh? I like that they do this, although I'll never be able to actually stamp one of my techos with one of these. We'll have a stamp on site at both Tobichi Tokyo and Tobichi Kyoto that you can use to stamp into your book or paper that you bring. It's a special stamp designed for the Hobonichi Techo 2020 lineup reveal event. We hope to see you at Tobichi Tokyo or Tobichi Kyoto during the event from August 16th to August 29th. Okay, so I'm all caught up on the updates now, although I did want to talk to you guys about this one here. So tomorrow or tonight, depending on which time zone you're in, we'll get to see the exclusive bonus items that you get if you're ordering through the Hobonichi store. So for people who are new to Hobonichi, if you order your Techo through the Hobonichi online store, then you get a free pen and a free gift. And if you order a week's book from the Hobonichi store, then you get a free pen. So to me, it's always very exciting to see what color the pen's gonna be and what the gift is gonna be, right? So I don't know if anyone wants to take any guesses about the pen color, but I was kind of wondering if it's gonna be red. Because if you watch this thing up here, if you watch it and just kind of look at all the pictures in the background there, they have these little red pens flying out of there. Hey, eh? You see those red pens that just flew out? And then also there's a red pen right here, right? 
I mean, I know they have a fountain pen here and a fountain pen here and a pencil here, but this one, like this ballpoint pen is red, right? And if you look in the background, you see those red pens that just flew by? There's another one, see? So I'm, there's another one, see? So I'm guessing that the pen is gonna be red. I don't know if anyone, uh, <laughs> if anyone else thinks that, but then also in the update before that we saw here, the guy's holding up a red pen, right? Red pen there. And then down here, there's a red pen, see? Doesn't that kind of look like a Jetstream pen, eh? So maybe the pen's gonna be red, guys. I don't know. But then maybe it's too obvious, like maybe... <laughs> I don't know, maybe Hobonichi's just doing that kind of as a teaser or something, I don't know. But that's my guess. I'm, I'm gonna guess red. And I'd love to know what your guesses are, if you have any guesses. Alright, so you have it, guys. I'll be back sometime soon with another Browse Me video, and then uh, we can talk about the free gift and the free pen, because I would love to know what your thoughts are on that when we finally get to see them. When they are finally reviewed. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully catch you next time. Alright, bye!